Off the top tonight, an Ada man is facing up to life in prison for allegedly breaking into the home of a into a home north of Grand Rapids, choking the homeowner, robbing her, and then leaving her tied up. 54-year-old Frank Yeomans made his first court appearance in the case late this afternoon. News 8's Byron Tollefson joins us live outside the 63rd District Courthouse with the very latest. Byron? Brian and Sue, an Ada man was arraigned this afternoon for the disturbing attack on a 65 year old Belmont woman in which the man went inside, broke into her room and left her unconscious and tied up for more than two hours. A terrifying attack, leaving a 65 year old Belmont woman unconscious in her own home. I can only imagine how terrifying this would be and how vulnerable she must have felt. The Ken County Sheriff says the suspect, 54 year old Frank Yeomans of Ada, broke into the woman's home Friday morning, assaulting her, choking her, and tying her up. Heartbreaking, just because you're at that point where you're feeling secure in your home. This afternoon, Yeomans was arraigned on six charges, including armed robbery and home invasion. He faces up to life in prison. These couldn't be more serious charges. I mean, this is as serious as it gets. The sheriff says Yeomans, claiming to be a hitman, threatened to kill the 65-year-old Belmont woman with a pistol inside her home and choked her until she was unconscious. He then stole her credit cards and took off. The sheriff says this was not a random attack. He appears to have knowledge of the family and a connection to the family. Um, but that's all I can say right now. The woman was tied up for two to three hours until an acquaintance who was scheduled to visit the home freed her. What a blessing that somebody was coming to the home because uh, she, you know, what if nobody was coming to the home? She had no recourse to get loose at that point. A statewide search ensued and his vehicle was found abandoned in Van Buren County. Sunday afternoon, he was arrested while walking at the intersection of Knapp Street and Pettis Avenue in Ada Township. Yeomans has a criminal record, including a 1998 conviction for home invasion that resulted in a 20-year sentence. He was out by spring of 2006 when his next criminal charges show up. The sheriff says a home invasion like this is rare. We generally don't see these kind of personal attacks in homes while people are present. It's a very non typical thing that somebody would break into a home with somebody present. They generally will try to do it when the house is empty if they're trying to gain belonging. So this is a very personal crime when somebody does this and, and we're pursuing it as such. The sheriff also says the victim is incredibly shaken up and has some lingering injuries from the choking. But besides that, she is physically unharmed. She appears to be um, in support of friends and acquaintances that are taking care of her. Um, certainly, I'm sure she's shocked and feeling threatened, and I'm certain her security will feel threatened for some time. The sheriff also says her heart goes out to the victim, and she asked the community to rally around her after this frightening attack. Bail was set for Yeomans at $1 million. Live in Grand Rapids, Byron Tollefson, News 8.